Welcome back everyone. Today, got a new mini bike in the shop and we have our friend Daniel here. Uh, you've probably seen him before. We go ride go-karts and mini bikes out on his land. He lives close by us so he's been kind enough to let us do that. So today we're going to be working on this old mini bike that's got this pretty interesting pull start two-stroke engine. Yeah, so this engine uh, came out of a concrete saw and my uncle put it on uh, my go-kart when I was younger and then uh, you know, I couldn't get it started for at one point, and so he took the go kart back and he took it off and put it on this death trap of a mini bike right here. This engine is pretty insane. It's a two-stroke 134 cc, uh, makes 11 horsepower stock, and the RPM graph on it goes up to 8,000 RPM. This thing is a riot, and I'll tell you what, these handlebars jiggle the crap out of your hands. So what we have in store for this thing today is we're going to put a Makuni carb on it, hopefully get it running a little better, running a little smoother. And then we got a Go Power Sports front suspension set up so that you can keep your hands on the handlebars when you're ripping this thing. So all in all, pretty unique mini bike. It's got a lot of cool little custom touches. Uh, it's kind of like a rat rod a little bit. So it's gonna be neat to get this thing that much better. So it's got a bunch of cool things on it. It's got a, a canteen up here for you to put gas in as a reserve. So in case you're riding around, you run out of gas, take that off, put it back in, put it in your gas tank. Uh, it's got a, you know, roll on pull starter. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Other cool thing, it has this uh, scrub brake on the back. So if you look down here, it's an actual piece that goes onto the wheel to, to help you stop. And then over here, it also has a, uh, a brake around the, the clutch disc. Uh, some other cool things it has is this weird fender up here. I think it's off of the bottom of a propane tank or something. It's got a bunch of, you know, cool backyard, you know, scientist kind of stuff. Yeah, this thing doesn't like starting up, so we're gonna be here pulling this for a little while. Oh, oh, never mind. We'll, we uh, may or may not be able to. Be, uh, <laughs> starting it for the next half hour. We just gotta say that it's bad to start and it'll start. I know. Once it starts, you just gotta go. Or it's gonna turn off. I was trying to save it. So as we mentioned before, we're doing a front suspension upgrade. Uh, the only modifications we'll probably have to do to this are the spacers for the front axle bolt and then the holes for the bolt that connects it to the uh, fork neck because that's just different on every bike. So you just drill these out. So real easy stuff there. And then we have our aftermarket uh, Makuni carburetor here, 22 millimeter, as well as the mounting flanges, bolts, filter, and we got a 40 inch Makuni cable. So all this stuff super easy, just bolt on stuff. Uh, Go Power Sports has it all. So links for all this will be in the description if you're interested. Um, and we can just get started right now. All right, so first thing to go is this carburetor. Yeah, we can get the Makuni on there, hopefully, as long as it fits. Yeah, so we're gonna see if this fits. Uh, looks like uh, a little lot wider. It's close, but... I wonder if it'll fit on this side. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Let's see if the Makuni can just do direct drive. Oh my gosh. Makuni's just a little bit wider spacing. So close though. Mm. wonder if it could work but these are kind of offset a little bit. Take this gasket off and kind of measure it. So we pulled the carburetor off and kind of pulled some of the, the nasty grime and grease off of it. If you look, it says Tillotson, the Tillotson carb. It's pretty neat. But we're gonna be replacing it with this uh, Makuni. So if you kind of look down the throat of this thing, you can see the size difference of those two. Oh yeah. Makuni's a lot bigger. Should, should help a lot with airflow. We're gonna use this 212 adapter here for the Makuni carb, but uh, the spacing's not quite right. We could drill it out, but we were uh, rummaging, rummaging around in the parts and we pulled this off the, the turbo engine that uh, we did and it actually has the perfect spacing. Not only does it have the per perfect spacing, but it's cut perfectly for the flange to be angled at the perfect position for the Makuni to come out right there. We'll get that welded together and uh, 
And this thing ought to start up a lot better than before. At least we hope. All right, we got the Hobart set up. Just gonna lay a little tack on here so we can get it lined up. We got our Makuni carburetor adapter, one of one for a US 820 engine. Straight Fits out right the park bin. Perfect. Right there. So out of our little gasket bin, we were able to find the perfect gasket for this. Fits right on there. The Makuni side has an O-ring, so no gasket needed. We'll just seal on the face of this uh, flange here. So we added in a little fuel shutoff, connected the fuel to the Makuni over here. And now we're gonna just hook up our new Makuni throttle cable. We get a 40 inch one, which is a little too long since this car is in the front of the engine. But we're gonna hook it up to the existing throttle uh, just to make sure it works first before we put on the front forks. It doesn't look like there's anything in the bowl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that might do it. That's yeah, still nothing. It's kind of not. I think you got to kind of get the hose primed first. There we go. Now it's Cool. Hey, now yeah. we shut that off. <laughs> well, how is it? More fuel. It seems like it's pretty good. Little spring holder thing back down in here. Move this up one notch. Get this put back on there and see if it runs a little better. I think we'll probably want to go one size up on the jet anyway. So we can get this needle kind of in the middle of its range. I think it'll run a little better that way. this jet so we took out the 130 jet and we're gonna replace it with uh, hopefully a 140 we got a 140 main jet in here now which is bigger than our 130 so we're just gonna button this all back together and uh, see if it runs a little bit better this time oh the gas is off <laughs> that would help <laughs> So the carb did pretty good at the end there. So now it's on to the front forks. So just gotta take these off. Cool. Works perfectly. This wasn't exactly helping the uh, vibration problem in the front. <laughs> hmm. It seems so. So because the bearing in this wheel is kind of shot, we dug through the parts bin again and found this kind of vintage style two-piece go power sports wheel i'll put the link in the description um, so this will be much better put some brand new bearings in it so there's not going to be any play in them just depending on the size of your fork neck bolt you're gonna have to drill this out so we got the drill bit that's the same size as our bolt there Now, this should all just go right on real easy. A 
Ooh, that is looking sweet. And the new tire. Yeah. Dang. Get the bolt. This thing's having a glow up. All right, let's get a suspension check. Yeah. That's like it a works. good two inches of travel. Turns good. Getting the number plate installed. Yep, this is kind of the finishing touch. And we'll put some stickers on it to add some horsepower. Plus one horsepower. Plus two horsepower. Plus three horsepower. Plus four horsepower. Plus five horsepower. Whew, sticker bomb. And that's it guys, that's really how easy it is to add horsepower to your yeah. bike. There you have it, you saw this thing have a pretty nice transformation. Front suspension, we got the new Makuni carb. It runs way better, handles way better. New wheel and tire, which we didn't expect, but hey, things came up and we, we upgraded when we could. So all in all, I think it made a really, really good turnaround. It's a lot more comfortable to ride. Definitely feel better going faster. A lot easier to start. It still kept the same like look and feel as it had before, which is kind of cool. Didn't want to ruin the kind of rat rod, you know, use what you have style. Yeah. So pretty awesome that we we're able to make it look good and handle better. Uh, all we have really have left is a little more adjustment on the carb. Just ordered some needles. Uh, we'll get get in some jets, I mean, and uh, then it'll be uh, be tip top. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for Go Power Sports for getting us all these parts. So all the links are in the description for your convenience if you'd like to check anything out. Uh, make sure to subscribe, check out Instagram, uh, follow along for the next build.